All right, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to be changing an inner cooler tube for a 2012 F250 6.7 power stroke. I was going down the road and heard a loud boom and saw black smoke pouring out of the back of the truck. And that tube right there is the culprit. It's on the cold side and it's actually busted down here. Once we get it out you'll be able to see. We're replacing it with the Dorman solution that I got from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And you'll be able to see the difference. This is the new and improved intercoolant tube for the F-250. It also comes with the, the spring clamp already and the seal. Looks like it's going to be pretty simple other than getting to all that stuff. And this is all the tools we're going to need. A step stool, try to keep your stuff on, 7 16 socket, an extension, wrench, light, flathead screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. Okay, first thing we want to do, since these hoses are in our way and they go to the coolant system, we want to release the pressure on the reservoir. And then we're going to disconnect these hoses. Okay, once you get these hoses disconnected, you have a clamp right here. And that's what the flathead screwdriver is for. You just get up in there and pop that out. So let's grab it. Try it one handed. it is released now you can get all that out of your way now this one has been deleted so if it looks different from yours that's why but there's what we're working with there. Let's turn the light on. There's the crack. So, let's see if we can get that out. There's also a heat sending unit that's on the back side of this you want to be careful because we're going to reuse that unless you bought a new one so just release this bolt here this spring clamp here and there's a bolt down in here Somewhere, there it is. That's 
seven sixteenths as well. That's just like that one. So I'll do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we got the those screws or nuts clamps loosened up. Now we have the spring clamp, and it's pretty simple. There's a you can see an indention here. You just get the flathead, put it in, and pop that out. All right, let me get this off, and I'll be right back. All right, we got that off of there. If you're going to try not to get dirty, you might as well hang it up. On the back side of this, that is where this temperature sending unit is. So if you get, be very careful and pop that up. There's the crack. That's what cracked it. But if you can just pop that lip up over that little ridge there, it'll twist right off. And that's what you want. And we're gonna clean this off and I'll be right back. All right, now to put it in, after you cleaned it up a little bit, you just stick it in the hole. Turn. Guess it'll help if I move, huh? on it to hook push down you feel it engaging twist it all right once you get it all seated down you got to push down hard to make it seat and then turn it and that little pin drop down right there against that and you're locked in ready to go all right let me get the clamps on here and we will install the new one all right and with a little coaxing and cussing, we got it all back together. Put it back in there. Now, we are going to put my lines back on. And then top off my antifreeze. Make sure everything's up to a good level, and we'll be right back. All right, we got everything back together. All of our fluids are topped off to the cold level. Everything's back. So, well, let's see how it works. Make sure it's all tightened up. Just before the storm.
looks good. So, if you're having this trouble, I hope this video helped. And stay tuned for more. Thanks.